All right, guys, welcome back. As promised, I've got Sadie Thurston here, University of North Florida all-star volleyball player. How are you doing today? I'm great, how are you? Um, not too bad, not too bad. This is a beautiful gym, great place to be. It is. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but these are two fellow Ospreys here, so you know it's gonna be great. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, I want to ask you, how did you get started in volleyball? Um, I started playing when I was in fifth grade, and my best friend, she was on like a club team, and she was like, Sadie, we need one more player and to be able to have a team. And I was like, okay. So I went home, and I was like, Mom, can I start playing volleyball? And she was like, I guess, if you want to. And that's how I started. And from there, I just always kept with it. So one could actually say that Technically, you're the hero that saved the team. Without you, there's no team. <laughs> kind of, but it was really my friend who really got me started and made me love it as much as I do. That's a good friend for you right there. So I heard somewhere that you also played another sport. You played a little bit of basketball growing up? I did. So I did. I'm a basketball player. So what made you choose volleyball over basketball going forward? I'm not much of a contact sport type person <laughs> in volleyball there's a clear net between me and the other side yes. so it was nice to be able to have that and I just really enjoy the mental aspect of the game as well for volleyball especially being a setter you're always having to think about a million things before you do anything volleyball wise especially when you're a setter. When people think volleyball they think of two things serving and spiking mm -hmm. but the setter is probably if not the most important, one of the most important positions on the field because you're actually the one, you know, setting up mm -hmm. everyone to, you know, to strike. As a setter, you have to be composed throughout the entire game because everyone looks to you whenever something goes wrong or if something's even going right. They look to you and you have to be composed and confident the entire game. And whenever, and like as a setter, you have to call the plays. You have to tell hey, this is what you're going to be running, and they have to be able to trust you to know what you're doing. And so it's a lot of trust and a lot of, it's a, it's a huge team sport in every aspect of it. It doesn't necessarily start with me, it starts with the pass. And so then I have to look at the passer and make sure that they know how much they're appreciated and what they're doing. And so it's just, it goes around in a circle in a way. Nice, I like it, I like it. So you went to high school at Nice. I did. Pretty successful there. Mm -hmm. um, now I heard a story that you were actually elected to the homecoming court, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you couldn't make most of the game for why now? Well, homecoming, the game, the football game, was on the same night as our district championship for volleyball. Mm -hmm. And of course I chose volleyball because that's volleyball, you know. And so we went to the game and we played Bartram Trail and it was a huge game, very intense. and. We won, so it was a great night, and we celebrated, and then we went to the football game, but I had missed the walking ceremony part of homecoming. Right. But I would have, no matter what, I, I mean, if I would have gone back now, I would have chose the same thing, going right. to the volleyball game and winning districts for my team. And, and especially since you guys didn't have many losses that year, but Bartram gave you, I believe it was three of three of their four mm -hmm. losses. Yep. So how much sweeter was it that not only did you get your revenge, but you guys won district. It was amazing. It couldn't have felt any better and everyone was like my whole team we worked so hard and we gave everything we had to be able to win districts and so being able to beat them was like just even sweeter. <laughs> nice. So you got so you don't have a soft spot in your heart for the Barsham Trail Bears. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, well, that's how it goes. <laughs> win some you lose some. Um, and speaking of winning before you got to UNF, you had a pit stop. You went to a school in Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, and um, not only were you second in assist your freshman mm -hmm. year, but you helped the team achieve their best record in school history. Mm -hmm. with, with that experience you had before coming to UNF, you also played a little bit of club volleyball mm -hmm. um, down here with uh, Instinct. How do you think that prepared you for the next step? Instinct coaches were amazing. And they, they did really prepare me to play at the collegiate level because um, the director at Instinct was the old JU head volleyball coach and her husband and then their assistant, um, he was the one who was actually my head coach as an 18s um, player. And so he, whenever he would coach me, he was coaching me as a collegiate athlete to begin with. 
And so he held me to a higher standard, and, and I believe that that helped me um, whenever I went to college. It prepared me in a way that some people didn't get. So now we're here at UNF, mm -hmm. home of the Ospreys. Yes. Swoop. Um, <laughs> tell me, so you came from, we're going from high school to college, mm -hmm. and now you're going from college to another college. Right. Was that transition easier coming from your previous school to this school? It was. It was because I didn't have to adjust to class schedules. I already knew um, the workload that it entailed. I knew that um, I was going to have to work out as well as practice. And having all of that in my old college, coming here, it, didn't, it wasn't that much of a difference. The only difference was now I'm closer to home, I'm at the beach, I'm in the Sunshine State. Like, it couldn't be any better. It can't be any better. And now, I do want to ask you something about you playing for the team. Mm -hmm. I've come to a few games, and I've heard this bird call. Yeah. Uh, is that you? It is me. No, where, where it is. Tell me where that came from. So, whenever I try and like get loud, my voice goes like octaves higher okay. and so I no one can hear me and right. so I just started to make noise is basically what it is it's just me making noise trying to get the team pumped and trying to show them that like on the sideline we're just as in, involved as they are on the court and trying to help them right. in the best way I can one team one dream yep <laughs> so tell me pre-game name of the show game time ready mm -hmm. you have a match coming up what do you do? Tell me, take me through when you wake up in the morning and when you get right with the team, how do you guys get ready to come out here and dominate on this volleyball court? So whenever it's a home game, we have a little bit more time. We're in our dorm, things like that. So what we do is me and my roommate and whoever else wants to come really, but it seems to be me and my roommate, we'll go to breakfast and we'll just kind of relax and enjoy the morning and we'll do our hair if we want to do our hair. We'll do whatever, you know, paint our nails. It's, it's whatever, you know. Right. And then um, we'll come in about like noonish, and we'll do a serve and pass. And it's just kind of getting us like warmed up, getting our hands on the ball, good, just Mads? getting our mind right for the day. Right. And then after serve and pass, we go and we watch film and we have our lunch as a team. And as we're watching film, we're talking about the, diff the other team and like what we need to be expecting and we get our uniforms on, we get everything ready, and we just kind of all like sit together and hang out and we listen to music. And sometimes we do Zumba, it just depends on the day. But Zumba, like we do it because it gets us warm, it gets us moving, right, right. so we're not just like sitting and waiting, yeah. you know. The coaches come in, we say, this is what our goal is, this is what we need to do, this is what we need to do to win, and we come out and we play. And we play. That's what we do here at UNF. <laughs> we play. So speaking of playing, we're going to play a game now. Um, she's a setter. I think I'm a setter. <laughs> Maybe. Kind of. We're going to have a little bit of a competition. We're going to come up with this volleyball net over here, and we're going to see how many balls we can hit into the, into the net. Sadie versus me. Me versus Sadie. Don't miss it. We'll be right back.